great. Welcome, everyone. Um, Hi, Susan. So, uh, okay, let's get started. Um, somebody want to make, have you had a chance to review the minutes from the last meeting? Yeah. yeah. I'd yeah. like to make, make a motion to accept. Seconded. Okay, all in favor of accepting? Okay, that we've accepted the minutes. Uh, Margaret, do you have the agenda? Somebody have the agenda? Do a report from the uh, from Ben. Okay, Ben. All right. I don't know if I told the board this last time. I think I did, but just in case I forgot, we are going to have a uh, graduate student coming to intern with us this summer, um, and she's going to be working on a risk assessment for all of the food establishments in Hadley, uh, so that uh, so that we can uh, inspect them at a frequency that's more related to their risk profile. So that's, that's the project that that grad student is gonna, gonna have and uh, certainly will be a great benefit to, to have the, I don't know if I let you guys know. If I did, then you heard it twice, otherwise now you know. That's, that's um, terrific, terrific news. Yeah, and it's not going to cost us uh, the, the town any money, so mm -hmm. that, it's, it's good for, for the budget as well. <laughs> All right, so then the next thing is uh, we're focusing on uh, pools. We're almost done for this year's inspections for pools, uh, so we've got one more left to go, but uh, we're pretty close, so uh, good news on that front. Uh, next uh, focus is going to be uh, tattoos and, um, and tanning, so that's for February. Mm -hmm. We have 15 food establishments that have been done uh, by our uh, partners, uh, the regional inspectors that I had talked about previously with the collaborative. So uh, they've done that. I'm following up on a few of those inspections to just as the reinspection, that type of thing. So I, um, so so far it's working wonderfully. They've been great at communicating with us and we have good documentation from them. So everything's going wow. good on that. Thing. That's hey, awesome. Can That's can also I terrific. Can I just yeah. ask for a point of um, um, uh, clarification? I, uh, clarification. Thank you, Emma. I was typing at that time, and I kind of missed what you said. So the tattoo establishments, the inspections have been done by. by... No, 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 that's my goal for February. Okay. So tattoos and, and tanning. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Two for the tattoos. Tanning is one. But there's a bit of a snafu with one of the tattoos, so we're, we're working it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ben. Yep. Okay. Um, the uh, uh, let's see. The next thing is so <coughs> fit training. So uh, this year, uh, the state's really trying to get. There's an initiative going on that is related to getting everybody. Uh, a baseline education that everyone has taken this course, that course, this course, that course, this course. Um, so they're trying to get all inspectors fit certified. Um, if not the end of this year, then the then then um, 2025. And so uh, that is going to be a um, I'm going to be starting that training this month, and that's going to go again for quite some time. But uh, but we're we're working in that direction. Uh, I also am going to be starting registered sanitation uh, sanitarium training uh, starting at the end of February. Uh, that's a big step. Uh, and that has to do with, I've gone to a lot of trainings, but they're kind of piecemeal. Registered sanitarium is a, is a certification that you get when you've been, when you've <clears throat> accomplished all a certain set of trainings and that you have to have continuing education credits every year to maintain that certification. So uh, that's a registered sanit uh, sanitation or a registered sanitarian. That's what I'm going to be looking to, to get. That Those uh, uh, trainings start in February, late February. That's amazing. <laughs> that's so, we're, so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I don't know how, how long it's going to take me. It's probably going to be a little while, but um, you got to pick, you know, peck away at it little by little, right? Hey, so. ben, can you go into a little more detail about what that will mean? Right. So the <clears throat> the fit training is the state making sure that all inspectors are meeting a certain training like bar. Right. And so and nobody has it right now. They're just trying to make sure that everybody meets it. Um, but nobody that I know of uh, has that. 
But the, the, that once that's done, as far as I know, you're going to meet those certifications and you're fit certified. The RS, as I understand it, is more of a <clears throat> like uh, it's it's also education, but in addition to meeting the standard and taking the test and passing the test, you also have to have continuing education. Yeah, every year. So there's a, there's a whole accreditation board similar to like our health licenses for nursing or um, being a, a physician um, that they have a whole like board that reviews that for their licensure. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations on, on doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm not done yet. I haven't done no, it yet. <laughs> like but I'm trying. We're on the road. We're on the road. Um, okay. So uh, the next thing is... Um, Title V inspections, they start, as you guys know, in March. Mm -hmm. uh, so we expect I'm going to expect a decent bump up in that uh, in the near future. People applying, uh, looking for inspections, that type of thing. As you know, we still retain Kevin for, you know, emergencies or that type of thing. But I'm going to be taking on the bulk of that, of that work. And so that'll start sometime soon, just FYI. I just have uh, a comment about that. I know historically, like we've always had the seasonal um <clears throat> but maybe for our next meeting or if someone's able to research it, search it and get it onto our agenda, but maybe just having a discussion and reviewing, like having our seasonal title five um, kind of past practice uh, for Hadley. I know other, uh, just some other places don't necessarily do that. Um, so just wanting to kind of uh, revisit that maybe as a group, I don't know. To back Dragon's point on that, the people uh, that trained me, that that location, that community, <clears throat> it's all year round as well. So you're you're absolutely right. Many of them you can do at any time. Hadley is it has a season, but we could certainly revisit that. I think I just think it would be a great opportunity, like with the new year and <laughs> and kind of you in your full time role, like being able to have the support to look at that more fully. Yeah, that sounds good to me. It would also be useful. Oh no! The time for the building inspector that construction didn't have to wait to start. Until, yeah. Until the approval came in for the Title V. Right. Yeah. That's there's, that's, there's many advantages. That's kind of what I was thinking too, Jane. And is it could potentially even out, um, like our seasonal ebbs and flows with our workforce, um, and also make Hadley, I don't want to say more marketable, but maybe more appealing kind of throughout the entire year rather than just seasonal, but just, those are just my thoughts and I'm, you know. All right. Um, Peter and I have been working on, uh, on the budget as well. I know there's a agenda later, later on, so we'll, <clears throat> we'll get there when we get there, but, uh, uh, but that's another thing that we both have been working on uh, trying to, to get nailed down. So that's the other thing we've been doing and that's it for my updates. Thank you, Ben. Thank you again for everything, all your hard work. And I really, over overwhelming. Thank you. We'll keep trying. We'll keep trying. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Um, next up will be a report from the, uh, from Marcy, a town nurse. Um, I don't have a lot to say uh, in this report, except I'm just continuing to provide some educational uh, seminars or educational programs for people. And um, Ben and I talked a little bit about the budget and what that means for the hours that I'll be working. And um, that's, that's pretty much that. What's your attendance been like? It's been pretty good. Um, do you know Violet by any chance? Are you familiar with her and her personality? Yeah, yeah. So she's really good about kind of rounding up the, the group. So I would say that there's probably 15, 10 to 15 sometimes people right. sitting together. Um if you want to know the topics, is women and heart diseases next week, uh, and then we're going to be also doing fra uh, 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 sensitivity to fragrance, <clears throat> and a different time. But the attendance, um, I think, if you don't round people up well, 
it's it's slow, but if you do, then you you can get a good chunk of people in there. That's great. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good. And and once again, Marcy, like I'm available if you ever want to connect to um, just strategize or uh, I know you are your enthusiasm is great um, and we really appreciate the work you do, but just want to be available and collaborative as another nurse for you. Are you good at PowerPoints? <laughs> I, I, IT, it, I, I come in that kind of generation. So I, I, yeah, it's a yeah. skill that I could be helpful with, I think. Thank you very much. <laughs> You've seen some of Dragon's documents. I, I would bet that they're pretty long, right? <laughs> she knows what she's A lot of color. <laughs> Um, is, would it be okay if I exit from this meeting now? Yes. Thank you, Marcy. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank Marcy. you, Marcy. Thanks. See you. Okay. Thanks. Uh, all right. Uh, next up is our budget proposal review um, and with uh, Ben and Peter. But Peter's not yep. here, right? Right. Peter couldn't come in, to, Peter couldn't come in today. Yeah. Uh, he he got called him. away. That's right. So I'll, I'll do the budget thing. Um so uh, I, the, um, for the budget, we uh, brought it for the uh, town administrator. And uh, unfortunately, there's, there's uh, some cuts that had to happen this year. So we had, do, did have to cut some things. Um, but overall, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't such that there's, uh, you know, it wasn't, we didn't cut any existing from last year's programs, that type of thing. So that was that's the good news. The bad news is we can't do everything we wanted to do. The good news is uh, we could do what we did before. Um, let's see. One of those is a little bit of a cut in my training, but I think that we can manage it as far as the, the funding goes. And uh, another I item that was uh, cut was um, uh, the additional hours uh, for um, for the nurse. Um, that we were hoping for uh, probably isn't going to be there. So that's that's some details for you guys. Um, all other portions were accepted by the uh, by the town administrator. Um, it still needs to go before the finance committee. Um, so we'll see what what if they have any feedback. I don't have at this time any uh, uh, date to be to go before the finance committee. Just FYI, but it will be brought before them. Uh, and lastly, I think for next year. I'm going to ask that uh, we raise some of the permit fees that we didn't raise last time. Um, and Peter is going to do a, a, some research into what the average is in the area for those items that we didn't raise a couple years ago. Right. Um, so that should help support our, our budget as well for the, for the following year. So anyways, those are some updates related to the budget. Great. I so think finance, those finance are... committee is currently meeting as we are meeting and uh, they are starting their discussion. The budget is not finished yet. And right. where things have been cut, you can still argue and maybe you can get them back and maybe you can. One of the concerns is that select board and finance committee's priority is to get salaries competitive with other towns. And so Pretty much, they're not going to spend anything else until they know what those numbers are going to look like. And luckily, we have until mid-April to get it pretty much set. So, thank you, Jane. Thanks. Yeah. My comment, just um, in regards to our permit fees, like I, I think it's great to look at them again, and I think I'm always for that. Um, one thing that I just want to be thoughtful of is not possibly being perceived as like price gouging um, and and just being on that chronic higher end. Cause I know that um, in other areas that has kind of come back to uh, kind of bite us in the, in the butt, if you will, um, not necessarily with board of health, but kind of other departments um, in Hadley, but then also other boards locally. Um, so just, totally open to looking at those things just but just want to be thoughtful about that yeah, i think you know let's we'll look at the comps from other towns and then we'll have a better idea totally i mean i will say that is something that we have been pretty i think diligent about looking at every year and doing a town by town comparison um with just not just the surrounding towns but also the towns that have the kind of traffic that we have as well 
So, you know, the amount of business, so not just population. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to continue to have a look, but I'm also mindful that sometimes even just raising these fees is not going to be enough to cover um, whatever uh, increases that, you know, we might have uh, in our own budget. I mean, it's, it's helpful, but it's not, I don't believe they cover um, some of the things that, you know, we're looking, we're looking. Yeah. At. And for me, what I know I've found kind of like compartmentalizing in my brain is that our fees that we collect for the board of health or under, under the health department don't come back into our own budget. They go into the general fund. So just because we increase the fees on our own department doesn't mean we kind of independent individually reap those rewards um, back as gains. Um, so I know that's, that's kind of been hard for me just historically. Yeah. Good point. Thank you. I appreciate the feedback guys. Thanks. Okay. Next item, Margaret. Uh, re well, we'll report from Peter, but that, that obviously will be tabled. I know he was going to talk about the number of permits. Mm. And uh, after that, it was any other business that could not be reasonably. Yeah, I, I wanted to um, discuss, uh, we had talked at our last meeting about, uh, first of all, increasing nursing hours to 10 hours a week for our next fiscal year. And um, right now, uh, that's not uh been approved uh although as jane said you know there may be a chance to take a second look at that so uh given that uh i do would like to uh get an accounting uh from hr if that's the appropriate person of how many nursing hours we have budgeted left between now and June 30th, 2024. And I would like, once we have that number, I would like to offer Marcy, give her the opportunity to use those hours between now and the end of June. Uh, and I, uh, I'd I like, like to, that idea. I'd like to take a vote on that tonight, uh, you know, which would just allow us to spend out the money that we have been allocated for the nurse. And I, you know, I think Marcy's doing a really good job and uh, I don't know if it's going to be two extra hours a month or two extra hours a week, but whatever there is, I think we should uh, encourage her to use those hours. Yeah. So the person you would ask is Linda Sanderson, the treasurer, not HR. Cause she okay. has the gentleman sheet. Ben, you, can you do that for us or ask Peter Absolutely. to do that? Absolutely. We'll work on it. And then let Marcy know exactly how many hours she's allowed, she's budgeted for between now and June 30th. I'll make sure that, that she uh, gets um, Treasury's uh, response on that so she's fully aware. Okay. So should we vote on that tonight or should we wait till we get the number of hours and vote on it? If it's less than she's currently using, what are you going to do? It's not less than she's currently okay. using. Okay, good. It, it it will only be more because there was a time period where we didn't have a nurse functioning. Right. Correct. So yes. that those are the hours, Jane, that we want her okay. to be able to good. use. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Mark, Margaret, you looked like you were you had a comment. No, no, no. I was just trying to think. Uh, uh, in, in terms of if we vote now on it, then I guess we could just make the motion that if, you know, that we just go, we don't have to revisit this, but it would, obviously we need to know how many more hours she does have left. And right. um, yeah, so I guess. I'm well, not let's, let's vote tonight uh, to allow Marcy to use the number of hours that have been budgeted for, for 2024 and that that we will get that Ben will get that number and Ben will give that number to Marcy and he will also let us know next month at our next meeting exactly what that number is. Okay, so that's the motion I, I propose that, that, that you're saying, Susan? That is. All right, so a second it and all in favor? Okay. Unanimously. 
So Ben, you'll follow up with a conversation with Marcy? I will. I'll follow up. Thank you. Any other uh, business, anybody? Not for me, no. And I just, you know, good work with the budget. Thank I, you, yeah. I know that there was a few disappointments, but all in all, I consider it a great success. Yeah, thank you. And Peter was a great help uh, through the whole thing. Uh, we, we tag teamed it as much as we could. And yep. um, and um, as Jane said, it's not done yet, but... Uh, We've been uh, we've been working with um, with the town administrator and and trying to, to any cuts that do need to be done or you know right. minimal that type of thing. So yeah, right. no, we're, we're getting there. One of okay. the things that they said at select board last night was departments like board of health, building, whatever that actually bring money in. They're going they the town are going to turn more to those departments to say, this is what we are expecting to bring in for the following year. So they get a better handle on the budget. Okay. Well, I'm sure Peter and Ben are able to do that. Oh, absolutely. I'm just, based on, based I think it's, program. I think it's wise on their part that they're starting to use resources that we had to estimate instead of to say, well, maybe, and maybe not. And yeah. Good. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. I guess we'll make a motion to when our next meeting is March. We're looking at uh, the oh, second, goodness. The second Thursday, fourteenth, March fourteenth. Yep, March fourteenth at six thirty. Right, this time still works for everybody. Yes, it works for me. It's it, great. It's really good for me with my seven o'clock meeting following this. And it's good for us to have you with us, Jay. And so it's a win-win. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm just closing out that screen. Okay. I make a motion then that we adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody.